All right, what's up, guys? Um, first, what I do is I have two shout-outs um, that go out for Illusion Fusion Magic and the Ace of Spades 722. Um, I really like both of the, all their videos and their channels, and I mean it's always great to be around beginning uh, like magicians that have uh, like the same skill level as you. So go check them out, guys, and uh, subscribe to them. All right, so there's your guys' shout-outs. And uh, now the other thing was I got a comment from Illusion Fusion Magic um, that said that I was talking about the gaff deck that I was in my last video and um, how you can make if you can make uh, kind of like the scrap or like scratches like cracks through the uh, the pips of the cards instead of like the back what I tried to do with like a uh, the one back of the card which I think I have right here and um, let me see let me check it out and Really, I'd never thought about using something other than just like an alcohol swab to make the crack. So that doesn't look too good. Um, but we're going to show you how to make a really cool one. And so let's get right into it. Um, and I tried it out by my, for myself, and it turns out to be really cool, and it looks amazing. So hold on, guys. Let me get you up here. All right, guys. So first, all you're going to need, really, is an old playing card that you're going to use to turn this into the cracked, pipped uh gaff card um, and then you just need either like a pocket knife or just any knife something sharp um, I tried using like a uh, let me see if I got one in here like a pin type of thing but it's it doesn't work as well as like a knife so just use a knife and be careful guys um, so you're just gonna open it up all you're gonna do I kinda hold it just like a pencil and you're just gonna go through let me do this one um, and just make your own cracks. Just go in a little bit at a time, just kind of like you're drawing it in, and it's just going to scrape off the top layer just a little bit, and it makes it really fine too. So all you're going to do is you're going to go through the card like this, just make your own scratch marks everywhere on it, and make it look really cool. So that's all you really have to do, guys, throughout the card, is just keep going and making scratch marks through it the thicker like you can make some thicker than normal and some thinner and then like once you're done just uh s just brush it off and it'll come right off and it'll be pretty smooth okay so now i'm not going to go through and do all of this it probably takes about five minutes to just go through it really quick but all i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a finished one um in a second and um you could do the same thing throughout here so you, if you have like any little card just go really small and just kind of scrape through it just a little bit and make it look like that's even away or even the smaller hearts too so that's all you have to do now one that's finished I'll show you in a second again but you could also do the same for the back of the car which this is what I never even thought about doing for my last one so thank you illusion fusion magic for bringing this up um, once again you could just go right through most of the car like this take your time and just keep making marks through it and then making your whole crack back on the back of it. Now I don't have anything done on the back of any cards yet. This is like the first one that I'm doing. But I do have the front, like he said, the pips done. So if we take a look at one that's already done here, we have an eight of hearts. And this is just from using this uh, a day ago. I tried it out right after I got his comment. And it looks really cool, especially especially if you have a regular eight of cards and you turn it into the crack one by doing the uh, shape shifter and then flipping it. Um, it looks really cool. Um, so that's it, guys. It's really easy to do. Um, thank Illusion Fusion Magic. Check him out. Check out the Ace of Spades 722. Um, and, yeah, that's it, guys. So just take a sharp object and just go really slowly and make little cracks through them. And it works out great. And it feels and just like a regular card. Nothing even uh, is that indented. Like, you could feel like little scrape marks, but nothing's too... Uh, too messed up. It feels the exact same. All right, so guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy.